gosh welcome back to another vlog guys welcome back to another vlog today's wednesday today's wednesday the was it is it the 23rd or 24th i'm not sure whenever the day, the day before thanksgiving and you guys when i tell you that i've been drugging for this vlog like dragging i do not feel like working this week at all like at all <sighs> to the point that the vlog that was supposed to go live last week is not been live yet that's how bad i don't want to work like i need a vacation but at the same time i know that if i don't do it i will feel guilty <sighs> so i'm not trying i'm trying not to dwell on how i feel we are pushing through the vlog will go the last vlog will go live maybe tonight hopefully and this one will go live this weekend how are you guys how are you tomorrow is thanksgiving and i want to say happy thanksgiving i want to say thank you thank you for everything thank you because i i've been seeing growth you know when they say consistency consistency is your best friend consistency is your mommy your daddy you know after god you know because when you work hard you know i i, I know you have to work hard but i believe in working smarter it goes hand in hand for me my definition of my definition of working hard is sacrificing you know like when you feel like playing you don't want to play, play because you know when i cannot afford it you have to work and smart you know like you, you know what works for you and things like that with that being said what i'm trying to say is that even though my slow my growth is slow but we are experiencing growth and to me that's the motivation that i need i'm saying this to say that whatever you are going through how hard it gets keep working it's the only way i don't know about you guys for me you don't work you don't eat and work is the only thing that will help you live your dreams right so you have to work and I want to say, I want to take this opportunity, Thanksgiving, to say that I am grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for you. Just the fact that you do take the time to click the subscribe button, like my video, whatever you do. Scroll through it and be like, mm, I don't like her. Pass. Fine. You know, whatever you do. Because you're not supporting, makes me think, okay, what are the areas I can improve? You know, how can I be better? Because one thing about us over here, we are all about improvement. We want to be the best version of ourselves. So everything, everything, everything counts toward improvement. So yeah, thank you. I'm wearing my Fabletic onesie that I showed you. If you watch the other vlog, then you remember this Fabletic onesie. It's giving. It's giving. It's the vibe because it's cozy. And right now, we are about to put the tree up. I told y'all that I was waiting for my handyman to bring it out from the storage. He did, and I already disinfected it. So now it's time to put it up. I could have done it yesterday, but I didn't want to do it because I wanted us to do it together. And that's what we're about to do. So my tree is right here on the corner. I don't know if I should turn the camera a little bit around. This is good. It's goldish. My tree is white. But I still, can y'all see me? I still do, I spray it. I do use the spray can for snow. So that's how we do it. But I haven't bought it yet. I need to go to the store, buy it. I don't know if you guys have families or you are alone on Thanksgiving. Please don't let that mess you up. I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to practice gratitude. I always do, but now I've tried to do it even more. I just feel like sometimes focus on the gratitude because at least you are alive. Things could have been worse, you know. And I know, I know it's easy, it's easy said than done, but you can do it. My tree is already pre pre lit, but. Last Christmas, some lights weren't working, so I had to add more, which I'm sure I might need to do it again this year, but we will see. I need to make sure this is the first one. I think so. Oh, God. Is it the first part? Make sure. It's 
crazy because I never know. I think this is it. I hope you guys can see me because I have the lights on and you can barely, and I can barely see. You guys, did y'all watch The Real Housewife of Potomac? Oh my gosh, if you watch me on, if you follow me on Instagram, then you heard me give a glimpse, at least, you know, touch on that. To say that I was disappointed and hurt is an understatement. Oh gosh, I hope I did the right way. You know what? I need some wine. The way they treated, treated Wendy was so wrong, like on every level. That was wrong, wrong, wrong. I don't understand why black women always have to be against each other. It's like we are stronger together. You cannot pick and pick on, on another woman like that and sort of be mean and just Oh, it was bad. I need to make sure that I just want. Oh gosh, I hope it won't come down. I don't know for some reason I feel like it's not well. I knew it. <laughs> this was the first one. I knew something was wrong. Because I was like, it's shaking. Oh my gosh. prefer buying pre-lit or non pre -lit or even maybe the, the replant. I had a replant before but it just high maintenance. Honestly, I don't have time to always water a plant and clean because the real one shades, the leaves fall and I don't have time for that. I just, oh, no. things like this. My tree is so big. I feel like my tree is too big for my house. I need to buy a star. Let me see what it's looking like so far. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Okay, and the last one. I'm thinking, uh, should I should I add lights as I'm putting the tree, or I should wait until the end? <sighs> Yo, this is the most comfortable outfit you want to put on when you are doing things like this. It's warm, so if you live like in a colder city, because now I feel like I'm hot. It's warm. It's not too so thick, but it's warm. I love it. I think I'm gonna start ordering more of this. It really is comfortable. the one yet I don't know if I have but I don't think so this is the first wine the first bottle I opened it's good I need to, 
I feel like I have to come down because my kennel is a bit low. Let's bring it back up like that. This one is good. It's not too bitter. It's sweet-ish, but again, it's bitter. If you don't like bitter wine and you want to try it red, I would totally say try this one. It's pretty good. And this says 14%. If you watched the vlog, then you remember, I did say this one was 14%, which to me is a lot because I never tried a 14% alcohol volume, volume, alcohol volume yet. I always do, my max is 13, but I didn't feel it. This would be good tomorrow on Thanksgiving. This is a cute outfit. This is a cute picture for my thumbnail, huh? We should do that. Yeah, we should try this for the thumbnail. Hmm. What about this? We can go gangsta. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm done with the tree. I don't like the way the bottom is looking. I like my tree to feel to look full. I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at it. So I need to open open it even more. But now it's time to to make to fill our tree with the ornament. Let me go get my box. No, first I think I need to do the light. So that's what we are doing first, and then we'll do the rest. And then go through it. I like my tree full, light, and autumn ornament. I'm sorry. I just want me to make sure I look good. Do you think I look good, Mr. Armstrong? Do you think I look good in my pajamas looking raggedy? These are not pajamas, actually. These are just, you know, stay at home. I'm not sure where it stopped. Because it starts recording, but I was saying that I don't care going out like this because we still make it look chic, you know. It's not about what you wear, it's how you wear it. Because we remember you wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear you, okay? Okay. I think I'm gonna I want a ribbon this year. Ribbon. this lights I want yellow light oh, this is a problem oh see that this tree will make you sneeze I should have done this after I mean before taking taking a shower because now I feel like I need another shower oh I hate that the lights that came with the tree are dead because I want a yellow light. These lights are white, like white. I don't like it at all. Mr. Armstrong better take you at your walk and bath. Because we can be looking cute every day. Mm -hmm. Mr. Armstrong, we take you looking crusty and everything every day. Take us the same as well. <laughs> okay, you guys, if God has blessed you with patience, please share because your girl has no patience. I do like patience, and like, I don't know, it's something that I do struggle with. Like, why are you taking so long to unwrap? Like, why? Can you just like behave? Do as I tell you.
But see, you see, guys, back with the Potomac ladies. People on Twitter talk about colorism. Me personally, I don't, I don't know anything about colorism. I never experienced it. I never been a victim of colorism, so I don't know. But as a black girl, an African girl, to be more precise, I have encountered where you know we have like xenophobia, you know, hatred among black people, which was it's still weird to me. And when I was watching the show, I kept thinking. Is it because they, she's African that they don't like her? I could be wrong, but that's what kept, kept coming to my mind. To mind, and I kept thinking like, why are we against each other? You know, we are black. It's not what it have to be a, a woman, period. Let alone a black woman. When black women come together, they are doing be, major things. Why not support each other? Why go against each other? And I understand it's a reality TV show. You know, they do drama. But when you start looking like you, are, you have something against that particular person who happens to be an outsider in so many ways, you cannot have to see, like, you know, look at it like that. I thought that was very unfortunate. I might need to go to the store to buy some more ornaments because this is not enough for me. I need more. So my tree is white, I already told you. I do white and gold. A bit of silver here and there. But mainly gold. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. I am excited. I am excited. You guys, it's just like Christmas season makes everything better in the sense that I don't know everything is pretty yes I'm sure like that we love pretty things who doesn't but you know that's you it's fine the music I don't know just like a lot of positive energy in the air and you embrace that you know it's all about choosing I guess happiness I don't know believe me it always wasn't like that. I have been alone for a long time and Christmas or holiday season could have been very depressing, but still, still I chose to be happy, you know? We are always one choice away from happiness. Choose wisely, my friend, choose wisely. Choose wisely, girlfriends. Remember that you are iconic. You know that, right? Cry if you need to and then take it back up. Yeah, yeah. fluffy ornaments hopefully I can find it at home goods after here we are going to home goods and maybe Walmart Ugh. I guess I guess because I need the I need the snow and the last time I found it at Walmart I'm not gonna go to at home but it's gonna fall and I do not feel like driving too far how do you guys like it so far? How do we like it so far? Do we like it? Do we like it or not? I need to buy a star. The star I have is too heavy for this. This show. I'm not sure what I was thinking buying it. Yeah, I definitely need more ornaments. It seems like year after year. <laughs> I lose some and I need more, of course. Okay guys, so because I hate, hate, hate an empty tree, I have these boxes that I bought from Home Goods that I always put under the tree. Until we start actually putting gifts under there. 
can see me, right? Yeah. So I always have boxes underneath. Only three boxes. And when, when we go to Home Goods, I'm going to buy the bedroom chocolates. I love them. And the one the holidays, they are always pretty. They are very well packed. And I love them. They look really pretty and they taste good. So I always like to have them because for that last minute gift, they say somebody comes over for dinner and it's always polite to give them something. So when I have them like that, I can always, you know, give, give it to people. Not like we are going to have anybody over here or anything like that, but just in case. So let's see what the tree looks like for now. It's pretty, but I don't like it. You see down there, you can see the yellow light. That's what I want. But because they went out, they went out. I don't know if maybe I need to buy more light, like yellowish. This is what a tree looks like. I'm not sure if you guys can see the lights because, you know, of course, obviously, I have the lights on. <sighs> yeah, we are definitely going to the store because, you no, know, I need the yellow lights and I need more ornaments. We'll see what we can get. Because this right here, I am not satisfied. I mean, you can have an idea, it's not that bad, but I'm just saying it's not what I want. I have another light, but it's still white. This one here, I could easily put in here, inside, but I'm not. I still need to put lights on my bushes in the on the front porch. My handyman did it yesterday. He went all around the house and put the lights, but it's not enough. So maybe this will go there. Okay guys, I'm going to eat my Chick-fil-A salad. And then we'll go to the store. Oh yeah, let me show you the, the type of disinfectant I used. Just in case. Lysol. I went with the Tropical Breeze scent. It disinfects, but also this otherwise you have, not like my house smells or anything like that, but like I said, this tree was in the storage outside. I had to draw that. And my tree comes from Lowe's, I think. Lowe's is pretty cheap. The tree was like, what, 135? I'm not sure. To me, it's a good price because I think a few vlogs ago I showed you, I forgot where, where I went. They were like 200, in the 300 ish. And this one to me is pretty big and it's pretty cheap. And like I said, it's pre lit. You don't need to. You don't need to worry about light. You just need to handle it with care. You know, when you put your tree up, I mean down and all those things, whenever you need to put it in the storage or your garage. My handyman does things, so I don't know how he did it. And other lights are out. But yeah. And the skirt comes from Home Goods. I like to buy my home stuff at Home Goods. <laughs> but it's a really pretty. Sorry, I went off camera. It's a really pretty skirt. Because my tree is whitish and goldish, I went with a gold skirt. I'm going to show you. It doesn't look bad, does it? It's pretty. I could have went with white, but I really didn't want to. Or maybe I might. Just because the lights are whitish. You see what I mean, though? You see the difference? Yeah, we are going to the store. I really hope I can find the same lights. I know it won't be quite the same, but as long as it's similar, I'm okay. Because you can see the big difference. You guys let me know in the comments, please. What do you like better? Hey, guys. I <laughs> I didn't vlog. I just came back from Walmart. I ended up, ended up by going to Walmart to get the uh, spray can. How do you call it? The snow, I cannot think. I couldn't go to Home Goods because it started raining and I got wet. So I hurried up and came home because, you know, I'm not trying to get sick. It was raining hard. Yeah, I remember earlier my hair was kind of slicked back. Now you can see it's curling back. But I was able to find more ornaments. See this? 
remember earlier i didn't have anything white so i went and bought all these the white ones and i added more gold i also added some light i don't know if you can remember before when i actually put the tree up i didn't have yellow lights inside you have to really pay attention in order to actually see it but yeah that's what i did i still have more some of these but i need these little hooks this right here where is my camera my focus so i need to go to the store buy that so we can add it how cute is this one i should have bought two of them i was scared it would be too big but i like it team love team love here is the snow can santa snow can you see i'm going to start vlogging take these whole things off of the tree spray it and put it back on so i will show it to you tomorrow what it looks like good night and um talk to you tomorrow good night happy thanksgiving guys happy thanksgiving today is thursday the 24th officially thanksgiving i am so grateful for you guys grateful for to be here from last year to this year many people didn't didn't make it i'm just really choosing gratitude gratitude over anything so yeah i wanted to come on here to say happy thanksgiving i appreciate you all thank you for being here i'm getting ready to go to my in-laws that's where we are going for thanksgiving dinner and i'm going to show you my outfit real quick i'm doing classy chic or casual chic so i'm wearing this turtleneck from h&m express pants and my H&M mule, you guys know, everything is old. And this is what we look like as far as jewelry. You can see the light at the back. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, December the 4th, I think. Wow. Happy December, guys. It's the last month of the year. Like, how? <laughs> Crazy, right? The last time we spoke was November the 24th on Thanksgiving Day and the vlog ended abruptly since then i have not even picked my camera i don't know what happened this was totally unplanned but i did enjoy my time off no camera no vlogging no filming whatsoever but again i didn't want to not share what i already filmed because we talked that week and i wanted to at least properly close the vlog and maybe explain to you and explain to you what happened honestly i don't know what happened the night we were going to thanksgiving dinner my camera stopped i think it was full and i didn't get a chance to change all those things because i was running late i really wanted to show you guys what i had made for thanksgiving dinner because i think i made a sweet potato casserole which was super yummy and because i didn't vlog anymore i thought let's change because i didn't vlog anymore that week i was like okay it's not enough for me to share but at the same time i don't want not to share so today is pretty much me telling you what happened i woke up early this morning did my hair i just finished doing my hair it's sim something simple i glued it in glued the tracks in what i did was do some cornrows and then saw the tracks on the scalp i'm getting ready to well not right now but later on we are going to a birthday i don't know if it's dinner actually it's like brunchish because it's it's not at lunch time nor is it at dinner time you know so in between we are going to i'm not really sure yet where we are going but yeah that's what we'll do today not sure if i'll take you guys with me but um i might or might not or at least i can show you what i'll be wearing because i'm not sure yet the weather is quite nice maybe like 55 i'm not really sure but i want that and you know that's good because you don't really have to think much what you are going to wear 
I'm thinking I want to wear a dress. I want to go with a monochrome look. Black on black on black on black. You know, we love black here or gray, 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 gray. But I don't know the shoes I'm going to wear if I go with gray. But for sure, I'm going to wear a dress. That's what I want. I'm trying to be comfortable. My pants kind of hurt my stomach, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, we are going to wear a long dress. I know Thanksgiving has been gone like since last week, but I hope you guys had a good one. Whether you spent it alone or with family or anybody, I hope you really just took time to reflect. Maybe that's what I've been doing. Yeah, I think that's what I've been doing since Thanksgiving. It's like I've just been reflecting on my life and like, a, you know, like doing like a reset. I don't know. It's funny because now that I say it, it came, it came to mind. That's what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of reflection. And I'm sorry. I'm supposed to say something. Uh, you know, like, no video this week or things like that. But I was just in such... Sometimes I do get in my mind like that. Like, I need to... Like, I'm just, like, secluded from any everybody else. I think that's what happened. I have not had it in a long time. Wow. But, yeah... We are going to push this content for the month of December uh, with the grace of God. And um, hopefully you guys will be happy with what I give. I don't do like a schedule for the kind of content I will share, which is very bizarre. Because me, the way my creativity comes, it's just so random. And even if I have something already set, when I have the idea why right then, I go with it. Is that abnormal? I don't know. Maybe I need to go see a therapist and talk about it. But... You know, that's just how I am. Isn't this cute? This is so pretty. Believe it or not, I bought it from Walmart. And you guys know how I hate going to Walmart. I just don't like going there. It's just too overwhelming for me and, you know, among other reasons. But I've been looking for this type of ornament for a long time. Target Home Goods. I've not been to Target for a minute. I'm not sure if I explained to you what happened at my local Target. But uh, long story that I do not even want to revisit not good at all and the next one is super far from my house but home goods also does a good job for me when it comes to ornaments but this one i found it at walmart i've been looking for bigger ornaments with this fabric but i saw on instagram hopefully i can find the ladies page and i can share with you this lady she has a hack on how to use big ornaments you know, to fill your tree up for the cheaper deeper, lolo. Guys, all she was doing was blowing balloons and stuffing it inside the tree, like in, in the mirror, you know, where it's right here. And it looked like you had this big ornament. It was so pretty. I was like, wow, how genius, how smart, and it's cheap. You just buy a bag of balloon and that's it. I was like, okay, girl, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my coffee and get ready before going to the birthday celebration. Hey guys oh gosh i'm here watching the housewives of potomac and it's a lot i came back from the birthday celebration i showed you guys the pieces we went to abachi this one was my first time going there i'm usually used to benihana but this was different and it was also nice i don't remember the name of it specifically but yeah um oh my gosh this show is a lot these ladies, when I tell you, can you see me? Yeah, this show is a little bit too much for me. I feel like I'm fuzzy. I don't know. Is, is the camera blurry or not? After that, things got really fuzzy. But anyway, I'm eating cookies. You can see the crumbs right there. Forgive me. It doesn't look nice, but I've been eating my cookies and drink my wine. Just having a good time. Oh my gosh, these ladies though. How do you guys feel about Robin? 
Robin has been so horrible to me this season is unbelievable like I used to like her even though people say she's boring to me when you are unproblematic I like you but now she's just too much like you go to you go to being boring as they say to just being a mean person like you are mean spirited she makes Jose look good which to me she's not a bad person Jose she just like you know she stares the part and runs away she's like a, a dog that can bark but cannot bite <laughs> but we like the housewives yeah like my tree i love my tree <laughs> i'm still not done but oh my gosh it's a lot it's too much mommy is a beautiful city though wow I could never survive in those housewife shows. They would call me boring. It would be too much for me. I'm going to say good night. I'm doing some work. I have to finish this content for Messi's on Instagram and get ready for bed.